the Lord. Amen. The presence of God is so much. Hallelujah. We bless him. We bless him because he says, I am seeking for a people that will worship me in spirit and in truth. It is very rare. I don't care how gifted you can be with the voice when the voice is void of him. We are Zwagala. Amen. So when we worship him from our bellies, he manifests. Amen. Yesterday when we were seated here uh, singing this song that says, Holy, 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 holy is the Lord, Lord God Almighty. God. I was sitting on that couch, and as I was singing and connecting, I felt a very heavy angelic presence right here. And all I could do was to weep. That was when practice for me was finished. Because I am yet to be graced by people or by the grace or the gift where the spirit invades people, but they are still able to see. I think it's serious grace, amen. So by the time I was sitting there, I, and I know that the, 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 the people that I was with were like, Loma Malona, we are Tetema, Pela. We've not been far into this song, amen. But the presence was so much. I opened my eyes thinking I will see someone standing right next to this table. Yeah. Amen. Ebasalwane, we are being prepared somebody needs to help the guy that is at the door we are being prepared we are being prepared amen we are being prepared to see them not this not this gimmick you cannot be a diviner and say to people that you, you are seeing angels you cannot be a sorcerer and say to people, you are seeing an angel. Angels and sorcerers are two different worlds. A divine spirit has no power, has no relationship with the angelic of God. 
But we are being prepared. We will see them. We will send them. And as we send them, we will be here and the Spirit will take our eyes to see where we have sent them. I'm not talking in sleeping form. You will be in Haniju and declaring a prayer in Libya. And right when the angel does and arrives and does what you would have commanded him to do, you will see the angel. Am I allowed to take off my jersey? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bazalani, we are going to dine with them. As I was sitting down, I said to my daughter in the morning, I was getting tissue to blow my nose. Yes, I'm My God. Father God, hallelujah, Father God. <laughs> I, 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 I shall preach in English in vernacular though. So that was on his wabagiti. Because man are looking at Father God. Hallelujah, let's praise the Lord. Glory to the king, amen. I said to her this morning, you do know that you are in the last days. And she said, yes, ma. Whether she was saying yes because she really knows or she must agree, I don't know. But as I was sitting there, the scripture that says, not all of you will sleep before you see me. It's going to be practical. Not all of us, not all of you will sleep, which means not everyone will die. Before the king comes back. So when people are still playing with the gospel. Ah. Akibui kogona. Akibui. Amen. Mara today kitabua. Kitabua. Because Gajenu Kitabua because Gajenu Kinadi message Kinadi warning Kinadi invitation. But Four go copel. Four. Four. For the people. Aye. Uh -uh. Aye. Teacher. Yeah. Kitabua. Today. Gajenu. Also, Kajenu Kitabuwa because Hobani Kinadi message Kinali Mulayeta Kinali warning Kinali Tokomedi. So, when oh, oh, says he, oh, do that walk, walk out. You that is sitting on that couch, whether 
whether you know me or you don't know me, whether wangrata or ausangrati, akina akina di taba, akina taba kitobuwa, because Murena, Murena, Jesus ne, Murena, wang sendile. Untumile. Rumile. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's clap hands for the Holy Teacher. Hey. Yesterday, I wake up. The freezing that is in the room where I sleep. Uh, I, 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 the freezing I didn't adjust. I na mudimu nix. Iya cold, i very cold. Iya bata, i bata di 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 mata zanda. Mato, mato ho a freezer. It didn't do the mouth to a freezer. I'm wide awake. Kibata Rida Kibata Ubala Litsui Lamurena Mara Akihoni Hobana Wabata. Jesus, the devil is in trouble. We are sitabuwa to confuse the enemy, mama. Sinjalon Jevel, amen. We shall speak the word, amen. As I am, so my daughter says to me, Oh no, me, mommy, to counter the cold, I get underneath the blanket. And I completely cover myself, and then I have the phone. So I tried this thing yesterday. I said, So I could not, I, could, I couldn't breathe properly. And then I thought, okay, I, I said, I said, yeah, I took out the phone. As I removed the blankets and the phone was on my hand, now the distance between my face and the phone, first of all, there is no reason why my phone must be somewhere around my head, right? Because I'm angiti mosgia keep so. So correctly, the phone as I as I as I remove the blanket with one hand and carrying the phone, the phone should have been in my hand like this. Guess what the phone does? I don't know how phone was somewhere here and phone fell down right here. The pain. It was so sore. And I said, devil, what are you hurting me for? Because there is no mistake in my life. What, 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 what is this in exchange for? Can I give the people of God the message that I was given? Because after that, after that, as I was going down to have my tea, I received a message that... As I was sharing with my sister now, it's the opposite of yesterday to today. It's one thing to have your own somewhere where you know you can't even so much quick, fast, and get there and say, in the name of Jesus, you lay the hand. It's another when I can jump into my car and say, five minutes, I'm at her house. And I can say, devil, you are a liar, amen. But we know that was spirit, amen. 
and we serve a God who travels way faster than us. Amen. The Bible says he sent his word and he healed them. So we are celebrating because the news are, are good news. Amen. Bless God. Amen. When one of your own says, I'm not feeling well in this time, you say, Lord, how? How is it possible? When you get a message that says, I took a walk, I jogged this morning, I slept like a baby. What was happening, Bazalwane? It was not the medicine. It was what we were releasing in Joburg and saying, thou shalt guard that house. Thou shalt guard that body. You will guard there is a whole host of angels. Amen. Amen. Two weeks ago, I am asleep. You know almost that God does speak in our dreams. I bless God. I would rather ne, receive a message via a dream than hoying it via other means. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the goodness of the land. Amen. I am sleeping. There is a woman waiting for me. I am engaged with somebody. And as I'm engaged with somebody, this person, I'm signaling to the woman that, don't move, I'm just coming. It's just a few minutes. I need to finish off with this one. As soon as I finish with this one, I go to this one. I find this one angry. And she says, she addresses me as prophetess. And she says, prophetess. You never will have to wait for me. You have never, ever waited for me. Wherever you are, I am with you. And I knew when I woke up that that was not an ordinary woman. Then he, she leaves the word. When she leaves the word, the moment I wake up, a whole message, very quick, very fast, go tell my people. I am telling you that message today because when I wake up, I, I wake up with a word that says, the person that I spoke to was saying to me, I am permanently a resident in your body. So when Pastor S preached about the Holy Spirit last week, I thought God speaks exactly like that. God doesn't speak too many different messages to confuse people. Come on now. He doesn't hook up something now so that in jambe, then abona kutinga kupi kepu, then she hook up something niya jamba ipanado. No. God has a tendency of flowing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So when I wake up, I have this understanding that the angel was angry though, but why is she angry at me? And I realize that she's not angry at me, but she's angry because of the message that I need to go give out today. Amen. I want us to open our Bibles in the book of Genesis chapter 1, verses 26. Amen. Amen. Who has... Uh, who has... Uh, I, I just quoted what I'm going to be speaking about not the entire verse. Who has got the verse? Can you read?
Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we bless the reading of your word. Precious Holy Spirit, reveal unto us your mystery, your hidden word, your hidden reason for us to read this word today. In the name of Jesus, we bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, this is the message, and, 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 and I'm going to be very quick because I'm delivering a message. Eh? A message I find like when we are wrapped up. When, when we say to a child, go get me water. There is no performance between the where you are to where the water is. Amen. Amen. So I will run. Amen. Amen. Because the angel releases this message that I am resident in you. You never have ever had to wait for me. I will never be late. I can't be late. Which means you can't be late where I am concerned. So I am permanently with you. And then he sends me to the scripture that we've just read. And he says, I want you to go tell my people that there is something that's fundamentally key. And that is, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness. Does it say, let us make Christians mankind? Let us make mankind in our image and in our likeness. Then chapter 2 of Genesis 27 says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them male and female. But what is this that has been created? Mankind. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Amen. So who are we talking about there? Jesus already. There's Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, hovered on the surface of the earth. This is at creation. Let us make mankind so every mankind, whether they are in Japan, whether they are in Australia, whether they are in Gabon, whether they are in Austria, whether they are in Russia, whether they are in the U.S., whether they are in Mauritius, mankind, mankind is created by the Spirit. Okay, let us make mankind in our image. An image is not invisible. Oh, the devil is in trouble. Oh, the devil is in trouble. An image is not invisible. And yet the spirit that is hovering we cannot see it because it blows and you see by the trees that there is a blowing it's a windy day and so is the one born of spirit you can never confirm them because the spirit of god does as he wills inside of them 
And the word that became flesh, we beheld him. At the cool of day, Adam and Eve heard the footsteps of God. If you are lost here, it's your own story. I'm trying to qualify that God, you're looking for him too far. Let us make man in our own image. We are looking for a God. West, south, east, ah, eh. You will die looking. The totality of Mudimu is in you. So when he says, let us make man in our own image and in our likeness. Now I want to speak about likeness. Because what the angel was unhappy about was based on the issue of the likeness. So he says, I have never kept you waiting. Wherever you are, I'm there. There is a word, I don't know what it is, that says, the Lord loves his people. He loves sinners to the point that he is with them right at the point of exhaling, huh? releasing the breath. That breath is the likeness that is in mankind. Amen. That breath is what separates the breath that is found in animals. Because animals become and they are completed via a man in the person of Adam. But when it comes to you and I, we are created in his likeness. The likeness is the spirit part of man. Amen. When you read Proverbs 20, 27, the Bible says, The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. And the spirit of man dwells in the belly of man. That likeness is what dwells in the belly. That likeness dwells in the belly whether you are a thoughty or you are not. I want you to move with me. Amen. That likeness is with you. Because that likeness is the life support. So mankind, whether righteous or unrighteous, they are all on that life support. Psalms 104.30 says, when you remove this life support, is what we call death. Session ill. I'm not about today the people that are alive but are dead. In fact, I think I am more about them today. So, Mankind, Bazalwan, wherever they are, whether they love God or they do not love God, they are kept alive by the likeness that was decreed upon them. 
by God. And this is the message. And this is the anger that the angel had. That go tell them that though I created them in my likeness, they have, however, constantly denied me. So the message that I am sharing today possibly has got nothing to do with the one who's already saved. Because the Lord was making me understand that when they are in the shibins, bless Jesus, shibins are temporarily, permanently. Temporarily, permanently. Closed. He says to me, when they meet together to plan evil, unfortunately, I am there. I am there because there's likeness remaining in them. When I remove my likeness, it means I remove the spirit. And when I remove the spirit, their two feet cannot take them to where they commit the sin. And he said to me, think of all the sins that are out there. I want to shock you, my child, that when the sin is committed, I am watching. Because my likeness cannot be removed from there. When they reject me, I still cannot remove my likeness. From them, the gifts of God are irrevocable. So what I destined them to be, which is my people, and yet they have rejected me. I asked you the other day, and I said, where is Jesus? Where is Jesus? Who is Jesus? Because he says, each time they sin against their brother, they are piercing me again. He says, the likeness carries within itself Ability to know right from wrong, whether the person is saved or not saved. And that ability remains with them. However, the sad and the pain is that when I come back, I will be coming back for what is mine. So you can be at home, highly learned. You can be a scientist, highly learned. You cannot account for the likeness. No one can account for the likeness. You keep on reading about Jesus coming into his own and his own rejecting him. Aki Israeli leyo kiwena nam. Because he created mankind. He did not create the Israelites only. He created mankind into his likeness. And the likeness is the spirit. 
the spirit, whether regenerated, which means having accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, or not regenerated, this spirit embedded in it is an understanding that if I go and I take something that is not mine, it is called stealing. I don't need to be saved. I don't need not to be saved to know that fornication, the body belongs to the parents. You don't need salvation to know that. And this is where the cry is at. If you were to ask me in these last days, go tell them about Genesis 1, 26. They are precedents, but there is my likeness in it. When they rob, when they violate, my people, I am right there. When they meet with President 1 and President 2 to plan how they must destroy my likeness, I am part of that meeting. The only thing I cannot do is to force them in what they must decide all. Because I am a gentle. In fact, until their spirit that is then able to cry and agree with the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, that I am indeed a child of God. I am born again. That spirit is able to connect with this spirit that I am a child of God. So the spirit that sits in the belly it sits in the belly whether the person is a rapist or not a rapist. That spirit sits in the belly. But the more the person goes out and carries the sin, Jesus says, I came to the very rapist and the rapist keeps on piercing me because the rapist knows that to rape is a sin. They sleep with young babies, children. I'm talking old men. In that sleeping, the belly, the, the likeness is in them. As they are conniving on how to make the country poor, he is right there. Serious mercy we need. So these are the people that the Lord said, go tell them that do they know that they are mine. That's all As long as he is in life support, belongs to God. But what the enemy has done he has blinded us to keep on releasing missiles. Yabona a satanic church. Ne? One of the signs is when they say, uh, I need fresh air now. Is when they say, uh, Let the spirit, let it go to him. Let it go to him. You were looking at me as if you are lost. Have you ever done the prayer? I'm talking about the demonic prayer where they say, wake up at 12 and release missiles. Hey, when? Come show me the word of God. Open scriptures that I may understand what I am missing. Because Genesis 1, 26 says to me, every mankind is created in the spirit of God. Everyone is on a life support. 
I'm standing here on a life support. So why, why don't you become victorious? Hey, when a vengeance. But you could have morning prayers, Lava at Monique. You are in a war that you do not qualify to be in. You are in a war where you are not armored to be in. You are in a war where the likeness has not called you unto that war. It's one thing when God speaks. I'm still waiting for news end of August. It's one thing. And those news have got nothing to do with one human being. The world is too full of rubbish chaos that I could spend my life focusing on a, a mad person. A mad person is in the likeness. As I was bathing this morning, I was reflecting and the Holy Spirit says, can you see how we have shifted? I said, yeah, I shifted my, my, my speech was celebrating COVID. If you can go back to all my sermons, I keep on saying, I'm, in, I'm, I'm happy. Even now, not that I'm not happy. Well, happiness is a wrong term. But two weeks ago, I shifted, and the Lord said, shift, and get into commanding this snare to leave the people of God. Amen. Command the snare to leave the people of God. So my prayer has been prayers where I am telling the enemy that you are, you've done damage enough. We don't want to be talking increase of stats by end of July. We cannot be talking and celebrating. It's almost like there's no any other good news. He COVID. And in the COVID is corruption, is wickedness. And the Lord says, go tell them as they are busy in COVID, with COVID, in darkness, in stealing, in wickedness, they are piercing me. Because they are rejecting who I am in their lives. Amen. Amen. It's always easier when it is a message. Amen. He says, remind them that though I sent my son to die for them so that there can be oneness in the likeness. Eh? So that there is one accord from their belly, which is their regenerated spirits, because they have not denied my son, therefore they have the right to call me father. Amen. But as long as their spirits are not regenerated, I am being nailed. My son is being nailed because he died so that they that are in my likeness, in our likeness, can be truly in our likeness. Amen. I want a listener, including yourselves, to ask, Lord, give me the grace to stand in the gap if my spirit concurs, agrees, Romans 8, 15, 16, if my spirit agrees 
that indeed I am born again and therefore the Lord God Almighty I qualify to call him Abba Father. If your spirit is at that level you have an assignment. The assignment is Lord I have brothers I have sisters I have aunts, I have grannies. Enable me to partner with you so that we can empty this kingdom that keeps on piercing Jesus, that keeps on denying Jesus. We empty it through you and I praying the correct prayers. You really need to clap hands. Because people are not understanding why they are not occupying. You cannot occupy when you are not flowing. When you are not yielding to the precepts and the instruction of God. That is why when you are a, a sane and a sound Christian, the word of God says, uh, you do not uh, repay evil by evil. Amen. That evil does not mean you must take a gun because you, you saw him carrying a gun. Right from your belly and your words, what are you saying? So Christians are not working with God because their focus has been on the world and the world cannot receive the Spirit and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The world cannot receive the Holy Spirit because they cannot see him and because they cannot see him and he is in you, therefore you will be rejected. Eh, so we wonder. Papa Bahoti. Ningaman and Nazi Saubo, Nachesu. Gia go binkelela. Giti Pagama. Sikota me pambiguaco. Saubo, Saubo, Naches. Gia binkelela. Sikotome pampi wako Saumana Gia bingelela Giti parama Sikotome pampi wako On your own The meaning of being alone. Where there is a lot of talk, sin abounds. Show me a lot of talk 
when you're all by yourself. Say, even George Felagona, my word, sad, man. We tweet, we were sad. And we say, look at this crap, look at this. <laughs> I can understand it I can see I can frustan. I can frustan this. Amen. Amen. I wake up in the middle of the night and I see. And I say to myself, where, which husband would have time for this? It can only be Jesus, the husband. Because you are now a frustana when I sing, Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is the Lord and he's wanting you and I. He's wanting you and I that know the truth to partner with him. How many billions of people are out there? They are in his likeness. Stop going to places where you become a witch unaware while calling the name Jesus. I'm talking about the demonic prayer. Huh? You don't enter an enemy's camp when you are not armored. The Lord will never back up what he has not sent. Huh? So you are entering a camp. We are in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Die. Die. Yes, yes. That's that prayer. Die. 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 Where in the word does it say you and I must wake up Decree the prayer on, on a likeness of God. Are you aware that you are doing it to God himself? Die, die, die. Then you hear someone saying, I've given that person uh, two days, three days. We are, we are, we are, we are God now. You, you, are a, you are a satanist. You are working against the agenda of the creator. If that person was such a horrible person and we are filled by the spirit of God, you need to be telling people that let's get into a fasting and prayer because so and so is lost. That is the gospel. Huh? Where do you come from? Where do you come from? Go back. Go back to the center. Go back to the center. Go back to the center. In lay your chest. That is a draining. It's a demonic. It's an antichrist prayer. I pray ya bangwele. I pray ya sebenza nungkulungkulu. I pray ya understanda yo. Yo kuti sebenga botsozi. Ba sebenga be botsozi in church. Botsozi as they are in their belly. That belly is waiting to connect out of their bellies. Rivers. It doesn't say out of the head. It says out of their bellies. The spirit, when it is not generated, it sits on the belly. When it is generated, it gushes out. Amen. So what are we to do? 
the saints, we need to call for our brothers and sisters that are lost. Them there, wherever they are, where they are doing the work of darkness, there is a cry in heaven. There is a cry that what they are abusing is sitting right in them. And it is not different from me that I'm here. I don't think you understand that you can create something that is your own, a beautiful thing that is your own. And you say, everything from this child looks like me. This is my child. And before you know it, you look at this that you carried nine months and everything is in discord. Everything is in discord. Go ask a mother what it feels like not to lose via death, but what it feels like to have a child that has chosen the other way in the same house. That pain I'm saying there is a pain that can only be removed by God Almighty from a parent who for months and years releases good seed, good, good. But again, I don't know what happens along the way in Fundis. Then the good is gone. And when the good is gone, this child becomes an animal in your own house. That pain is double in heaven. The pain of sin, the pain of some Thing that you know you own and you created, you did not create me. And then you say, no, that was for the Israelites. You know, you know, you know the Jews most. They, they're the ones that rejected Jesus. And, and we, we didn't. But he is saying today, my likeness is being violated. I will never make them late, even when they go to commit that sin. I will never leave them, even when they go to do the sin. Because my leaving them would mean I must take my breath and when I remove my breath, that person will bury Uhambil. So there is a real pain. And I'm afraid that the pain in your corner is likely to be shorter than the wrath that's going to come. Because the Bible says, Ikati, zonga kondi, unkulunkulu yasbegezelela. But there come a time where we cannot carry on taking granted that grace was there and grace is still here. Pazalwane, the king is coming back. I sat on that bed yesterday night. I love, I love getting deeper in things. And I said, Daniel became one of the greatest men of God. Not because he was, 
He had a unique spirit. The Bible refers to him as he carried a unique spirit. But he searched scriptures. The book of Revelations is already happening now. The book of Revelations is already happening. Twenty-six of May, twenty twenty-one. I think, and as well as in November, if I'm not mistaken, when you read and you you dig, that's the time when we will have the moon fully in its entirety read. Go read the meaning of that in the book of Revelations. The coming of the Christ, we will be alive. So when you get a message like this, it's a message that is genuine. God is wanting his likeness back to him. He says, I made the provision. I was there as God. I was there as my son. I was there as my spirit. And I made provision for redemption right on the day or days of creation, that time of creation. So no one can say I was not catered for. They will be having a good time in sin. And he will remove his hand. And what we call the wrath of God. They will run looking for where they can get the water of the word. And there will be no church. They will, this is what the word of God says. It says the time will come where they will say, where can I find Umama who can worship with me? Where can I find? They would be crying like that because they would have not hearkened, listened to the voice while it is still today that repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. Manja kuna bantu lana pastors that think that i lotole No, he must just fix me. Uh uh. He is wounded by you. He is pierced on that cross by you because you are carrying his likeness and yet you are not wanting to bring his likeness back to him. Amen. Amen. Not all of us will sleep before the coming of the Christ. Amen. This morning, somebody sends me a, 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 a clip, I didn't read it, that the Pope, the same Pope that some time back confessed that he has been misleading the Roman Catholics. There was a whole video where the man was speaking, saying that I misled them to focus on Mary. Mary is not the way, the truth, and the life. The son of Mary, Jesus, is the way, the truth, and the life. The same Mkulu has released a decree that the Bible must be scrapped. When you read the book of Daniel, the today is spoken about in the book of Daniel. 
when you pair the book of Daniel with the book of Revelations, we are on it. There shall arise a kingdom that will be powerful in misleading the people of God. There is no church as we speak that is as big as the Roman Catholics. And what have they been taught there? Mary. Oh, la la, oh, Mary. No word of God. Horns of darkness are out. But there is the one whose feet is made of gold that will come and crush the kingdom of darkness. The church, when you read scriptures and follow true prophecies, not the crap, this has been, that very crap, you were born here, you stay here. And they graduated. They graduated to the point of saying, I can even tell of the color of your underwears. That is completely unscriptural. The Lord respects women. The Lord adores women that he can ridicule them in the presence of people. When you read the book of Daniel, pair it with revelations. The church itself rejected the true gospel of Jesus. At some particular point, where I'm going to close now. We had a, a revving up of a reverence. When we thought reverence was the name, and then irreverent is an ekola. Ekola gashe gashe is coming from the Catholics. Hi, when we're thinking it's reverent, I don't know if it was now evangelist, evangelist. They rock, they rock. Ah. The evangelist, not the evangelist of old. But it, we are converging to a time where the purity of an evangelist will come out and change the world for Jesus. We are converging towards a time where the true prophets of Jehovah that are sent separated before they were conceived in their mother's wombs to release as Jehovah God wants them to release. They are coming. They are not even coming when I'm one of them. I am not carrying the grace here in Dabazako. Eh, eh. The, 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 in Dabazako, the truth is we are Zazimos. Ne? Come on now. You, you know your stories. Amen. You know who is keeper. Name's Zinuako. Hallelujah. Ah, the lion of Judah is going to come back. The real teachers of the word are going to arise from the church of the living God. The real apostles, the real prophets of the almighty are being prepared. They are already walking on the surface of the earth. You are amongst them. You are amongst them. Only if you give him back what belongs to you. So he says, go tell the ones, go tell the ones that are denying me that they are, Jesus is with the, the people, they're following him, and it's getting dark, and he realizes that there is no food. And the Bible says, he said, 
What can we give them? And yet he already knew what he was going to do. And Philip said, there is a young boy here. There is a young boy with five loaves and two fish. When they go to sin, the boy was not saved. The boy was not a Christian. But the boy carried a miracle. Hey, what is an lele? The boy was not saved. The thing that the boy had was likeness. So they are those women in the shebeens, in the witchcraft. They are literally carrying a miracle. Saul was carrying a miracle. And he becomes the greatest apostles. There is a little boy here. There is a woman that is carrying a miracle. A miracle of salvation. A miracle to change lives. There is a woman right there Digging the holes, putting your name with all mutis under the sun. Right there, that very same woman, that one, is that boy carrying five loaves. Let me make it closer. Home. You were that woman. You were that woman one day. You were that man one day. But inside you was lightness that became tender. Today we are called a pastor. Come on now. Come on, child of the living God. We need to cry for the people of God. The enemy. The enemy planted softer. Planted while we slept. The enemy planted while we slept. Your aunt, your husband, your wife, your grandmother, your daughter, your uncle is a walking miracle. He is not different from the five, the boy with the five loaves. Just like you were not born saved. Hallelujah. We want to walk and work with God. When he comes back, stories will be over. But you want to say to him, Daddy, I did my best. Daddy, I partnered with you and I prayed for your people. Daddy, I went beyond praying for them. I picked up the phone and I said, can, can I share the good news of the gospel? Can I tell you that I sleep at night? I told my sister yesterday and I said I was once in a life where I tried figuring in my mind how to love. 
I tried. I, I would figure it out. I would try to understand where does laughter come from? Does it come from the belly? Does it come from my head? And I would look and watch people laugh. And I would wish I could. Until I met him. Until I met Jesus. Until I stood amongst the crowd and I said, I don't know if this will be useful, but I do have five loaves. Now, that is the miracle. The greatest miracle is not for you to win a lotto. The greatest miracle is for your spirit man to come back to its own. Well, when God looks at you, there is no piercing anymore of his son. You're thinking that this closure of some churches is a joke. It is not a joke. The Lord knows them that carry his spirit. And he says, those that do not carry my spirit, I know them. Even though they can say, Jesus, Jesus, I will say to them, get thee behind me, Satan. And then they will say, but we fed the hungry. And you will say, with blood money, yes, you did. What am I saying to us? There is a whole miracle out there. But that miracle is in drugs as we speak. They're looking for the next victim. There are broken homes, broken, broken. One day I said to God in prayer, I said, if you've broken me so much, so that I, I lose identity, but if you did this for the sake of your kingdom, then I celebrate your will, oh Father. I celebrate the will of God. That he bent me, broke me. And the enemy thought I will never be able to say, Jesus still fixes marriages. He does. He does. He does. Doesn't he release them from jail? He does. He came out of captivity. He was with them out of the grave. And he led those that were in captivity. He led them free. Hallelujah. There is a work that you and I have. You can raise somebody and say, my aunt, my aunt is a walking miracle. My father, my mother is a walking miracle. That's the church. That's the church. Anything contrary to that is anti-life. And therefore it's not of God. As I close, as I close. Hallelujah. Can we work with him? Can we work with him? Just as you and I have the right. It's my right to have this t-shirt.
it is his right to have them that are out there. Wait until you have a burglary, a break in when we are inside the house. I, I had a couple of them only when I was on the other side. Before then, I didn't know what a break in was. But when I became part of this, that I bless Jesus. I do bless Jesus for it. Because it gave birth to something that I myself don't understand. But go ask a person who, when they were in the house, somebody walked in and took things while they slept. That violation is a serious violation. So just as you are rightfully an owner of whatever it is that God has given you, they are rightfully, rightfully so. Products that belong to God. Maybe not products, but human beings. Amen. Amen. That likeness is what he wants you and I to go. Partner with him. As I reflected, I'm going to sit down now. As I reflected on this that I have not read about the Pope, I thought, what prayer can I, I make? It was as though the Spirit is quickly saying, he has to fulfill prophecy. He has to fulfill prophecy. But you and you and I, we are going to be part of this. Did you see how quick COVID changed our lives? So quick shall be the coming back of the Messiah. The Bible, when you read the book of Revelation, says, if it were not for the kindness of God, who has decided to shorten the time of the wrath of God, no mankind will survive it. So some of you are saying, Lord, what about the prayer that I've been making? No, the prayer will be answered. The prayer will be answered. The prayer will be answered. But the guarantee is that don't prepare, don't prepare in your mind. Don't prepare a grave. Kuni naleli pai peli lo kwa shivinda yoto nje pana manga yonke lento ayiko. Let me help you. When there is abundance of ignorance, the mouth releases rubbish. I don't know what will happen post-2024. I don't know. The Bible says for three and a half years, there will be two human beings on earth. Book of Revelations. Daniel as well. Three and a half years these two individuals that are already on earth as we speak 
will preach nothing else but repentance in the entire world. Two. When they feel like being normal, there won't be any normality. I'm going to finish at one. There will be no normality on those two individuals. But they will bombard. They are, they are, they are armored. They, they are already armored by the power of God as we speak, to speak no any other gospel but the gospel of salvation and to call them that are lost to say you are carrying what does not belong to you he says in the book of Isaiah don't you want to come and reason with me get me give me your story tell me what is meant to happen tell me what is yet to happen tell me they that are out there cannot tell God what is yet to happen and he says these two people, we are talking seven billions. And you read the two books, you must make, fall in love with them this month. Eh? Fall in love, fall in love, fall in love with the whole Daniel and fall in love with the whole of Revelations. I don't know how many times I've been reading Revelations, amen. These two individuals, a host of the heavenly, is with them. They will fear no man. They will fear no king. They will fear no demon. And they will work on this mandate for three and a half years. Aggressively so. When that three and a half years ends, the same two people will be killed. But in three days, in three days, they will resurrect. There is a living God. There is an almighty God. His name is Jesus. He is the Savior. He is the King of the kingdom. And He is going to come and rule. He's going to come and rule. He's going to come and rule. And he's going to come and rule with them. That would have been perfected by these two in the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, this would shake the world. When it shakes the world, the king will be ready to come. That, I, that is why I say, I said, Holy Spirit is amazing. Because you can have so many books in the house. And you would say, just pull this one. And you say, okay, I don't feel like sleeping. What, Holy Spirit? And he says, go open page. When you look at that page, right from the book of Re Genesis. All the prophecies spoken about. Da, 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 da. And you come, you stand here, and you say, but Lord, all of them have come to pass. Does it really mean this thing is real? And he says, it is as real as real can be. Bazalwane, the Lord is going to come back for his saints and is wanting you to partner with him. Stop jumping. Stop going around. Stop being concerned. 
one of the things that I, I was engaged with him this morning, this morning, yesterday, he, he says to me, this is the time, it has already begun. The time has already begun for them that trust in the Lord. The, the testing of their trusting in the Lord has already begun. And there is no better place to test someone than what the world has raised as a God, and that is money. Clap hands for Jesus. Clap hands for Jesus. So, Lord, are you serious? And then he says, if I'm not serious, look at your bank account. If you're saying I'm not serious, if you're doubting this word, Look at how you have lived. When you follow the real saints of God, look at where they get attacked. It's because the enemy wants to check. Now that there is no money to then say he is no longer God. Who holds our hands under the shadow of his wings we are kept he is the lord he is the lord, he is the lord who holds our hands our hands our hands our hands, our hands under the shadow under the shadow of his wings he is the lord almighty he is the Lord who holds our hands, our hands, our hands, under the shadow of his wings, of his wings we are kept. He is the Lord God Almighty, he is the Lord who holds our hands, our hands, our hands, under the shadow under the shadow of his wings we are kept when the enemy when the enemy comes in like a flood like a flood the spirit of the lord the spirit of the lord raises a standard against him the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord raises a standard against him when the enemy when the enemy oh the Spirit of Jesus it raises a standard higher against him We are already marching. We are already marching. Oh God. It is closer. It is closer. And in every household, there is a Moses. 
the spirit of the Lord raises raises the stand against you. Hallelujah. I'm a soldier in the army. I'm set for the war. I'm a winner. I'm a the winner in Christ. In the army, I'm dressed for Lord, I'm a winner. I am the winner. I am the winner in Christ, my Lord. Oh, like a soldier in the army of God, I am perfected for the war. that represent the 12 tribes. But there are multitudes, mankind, that come from nations and languages and in tongues. I am the winner in Christ. In Christ. The child of the living God is the winner. Them that are born of him, I am the winner. I am the winner. I am the winner in Christ, my Lord. I wanna close. I wanna close. More beautiful times are coming. More beautiful times are coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The time to crush the serpent. Jesus. And over a thousand years, he will be locked and chained. Hallelujah. We will be reigning with the king. Amen. Yes, Jesus. Whether we are peel or not peel, God will be able to do Oh, in Christ. My Lord, I am the winner. I am the winner. I am the winner in Christ. My Lord. Amen. I want this church, wherever you are, may you just command the ending of COVID. Let's command it to end now. Amen. It is tormenting and it's stealing lives. If those lives are not saved, you and I will be asked how do we get asked who are not their relatives? Jesus. It's the prayer I was talking about earlier. Amen. Amen. 
They cannot die when the real church is available. The church is you and I, amen. Amen. So we're commanding the weather that it stabilizes because the way it has been the past two weeks, it was also demonic. I've never seen such cold, amen. amen. So we are commanding the weather that it must stabilize. And the atmosphere must not be available to carry the, the disease. Jesus. Let the atmosphere be commanded not to have energy to carry the disease. Hallelujah. Because they cannot die if they have not seen the Savior. Jesus. Amen. Amen. I just wanted to emphasize that part. Amen. The Lord is faithful. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Just give God the glory.